Is this your first time in Aberdeen? Yes, it is. How did it go tonight in the theatre? Well, we had little gremlins. Uh, <laughs> this, the set didn't uh, work uh, with its uh, normal efficiency tonight. So, um, uh, But we all rallied around and some of the uh, stage management got into dungarees and yellow shirts and moved some of the sets. So it all went very well. Well, we'll, we'll talk about sets in a little while because ah, there are yes, stories. I'm, I, I'm sure I know set. the story everybody But, but relax at the moment. We, we will get to that in a moment or two. Why do you think Australian soaps are so successful in Britain? Oh, um, well, I think that the juggernaut that set it all going was Neighbours, mm. and I think people got fascinated, and uh, then the uh, television channels looking for ratings, they started to buy more and more. <laughs> Which is good news for you. Well, it's great news for me, mm. yes. Um, Prisoner has been on, I think, up in Aberdeen for, what, 18 months? Mm. Um, and it's, it's, it's at various stages all through the UK. Um, and some some areas I've there, I've gone, uh, but I'm I'm still on up here. Yes. So how did you get the part in the first place, of Vera? Well, t uh, I was the last one to audition. I uh, was actually over in England. My mother was living over here at the time, and I was visiting her. And when I went back, uh, my agent said uh, they're looking for a character, looking for a, an actress to play Vera Bennett. And I was the last one. And uh, luckily enough, I got the role. Yes. As I said, it's been good for you, but she seems to be totally opposed to f what you are yourself. I mean, she's a pretty hard-bitten and, and tough character, isn't mm. she? Yes. Is well, she? I think that that's a compliment for an actress if, if you say that it's different from uh, what you're looking at now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yes. And of course, you do Celia Stewart in Home and Away. I do, yes. Um, I've just finished Cel Celia Stewart. I've played her for two and a half years. And it was just, I just made my decision to leave because the show was uh, coming out of Sydney and I live in Melbourne. Mm. Um, and I'd been away from home for two and a half years. Um, two weeks later, I got an offer to come over here and I, I jumped at it. But these two parts are poles apart. Fiona, yes. aren't they? Yes. And yet they're running here at the, almost the same time. How well, do you that's, feel about that? Well, that's very good for me as an actress, being a character actress. I think it's uh, wonderful that people can actually see uh, the difference. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Now, let's talk about the sets, Carol. <laughs> 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 why, do you, why do you laugh? Because You're every seeing... single journalist and interviewer has asked me about the sets oh, on, well. on print. We, we do try to come up with the originals, <laughs> but, but you've got to admit, people do ask about it. Because mm. someone said, yeah, prisoners in, in cell blockades, they shut the doors, the, the, door, the walls wobble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You'd have to ask the people that actually watch it. I watched it as part of my commitment to uh, Prisoner when I worked on it. I went to the viewing room and watched the show, or, you know, when I had some time off. And then I used to watch it at home uh, to see what it was like and how it worked with the ads thrown in between. Um, and I never <laughs> saw the sets wobble. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I don't know whether there's something wrong with my eyesight or whether there's something wrong with your eyesight. <laughs> no, no, listen, I've got to admit that I haven't seen the set Good, for a while. Good, right. But other people have mentioned it to Well, me. no, no, I don't think other people have mentioned it. I think journalists, have, one journalist has written it up. <laughs> it's been um, syndicated around the country and everyone's picked it up. Yeah. Uh, no, okay, journalists. The story was being spread around in Britain here that you had actually come over here to find oh. Mr. <laughs> right. Yes. Have you uh, had any success? I've had uh, uh, three marriage proposals <laughs> 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 and some very lovely red roses. In fact, I had a letter from a from a man yesterday who said, I'm 44 and a half, um, <laughs> single with no complications. And I wondered <laughs> what that meant. <laughs> yes. Um, and he wanted to come back to Australia with me, but I don't think he will. How do you, how do you relax? Um, here, well, we've got a wonderful cast. I'm over here with Jane Clifton, who plays Margot Gaffney mm. uh, in Prisoner Cell Block H, and we're good friends. And we've got a, just a wonderful company. And um, so that way I, I relax just with um, uh, the company. But if I'm at home, gardening. I love gardening. And my Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. Well, as far as gardening is concerned, you and I wouldn't get on at all, I can tell you that. But I'll tell you what, it's lovely to have you in this country. Thank and, you. And thank you for being with me tonight. Oh, and, my pleasure. And great success to you with the tour as well. Thank you. Fiona Spence, ladies and gentlemen.